So our smartphones can do a lot of different things. They can play music, take photos, provide GPS navigation, they can scan our fingerprints, and a whole lot more. And it's really impressive how much technology is packed into such a small package. But where did all of the technology that we see in our smartphones today come from? Let's take a look. Let's kick things off with how the mobile phone was born. It seems like mobile phones have been around forever, but mobile phones didn't exist until 1973, and it wasn't until 1983 that the very first mobile phone became commercially available with the Motorola Dynatac 8000X, which weighed in at over four pounds and went on sale for almost $4,000. Sort of makes the $1,000 smartphone in 2017 look like chump change. SOCs from Qualcomm, Apple, Samsung, and other manufacturers are the brains of our devices, and it's ultimately what makes everything tick, but you'd be surprised to know that the very first SOC was not in a computer at all, but instead found in a Hamilton Pulsar digital watch. This was unveiled on the Johnny Carson Show in 1970. SOCs didn't make their debut in mobile devices until 2008 with the QSC7230 by Qualcomm, and since then they have evolved to using smaller and smaller transistors and pushing their physical limits in terms of nanometer spacing. GPS was first developed for the US Department of Defense, and it wasn't until 1989 that the first GPS system was made commercially available by a company called Magellan Navigation. In 1999, the Benefon Escape was the first commercially available phone with GPS technology. Personal GPS systems didn't become available until the early 2000s, but they were quite expensive from companies like Garmin and TomTom. Eventually, the rise of smartphones in the late 2000s incorporated GPS and led to dedicated GPS systems becoming almost obsolete. Although fingerprints have been used as a method of biometric recognition since the Babylonian period, it wasn't that long ago that they made their appearance in mobile devices. The first smartphone to offer this technology was the Motorola Atrix 4G back in 2011. Apple followed suit in 2013 with the iPhone 5S, and since then a ton of manufacturers have adopted this technology. The Atrix 4G primarily used this technology for identification and to bypass the lock screen, but nowadays our fingerprint can be used as a method for paying for goods and services and authenticating various applications on our smartphones. The touchscreen may seem like a relatively recent technology, but the very first touchscreen was introduced way back in 1965 by an inventor named E.A. Johnson. It took almost 30 years before this technology finally reached our phones, with the first phone with the touchscreen being the IBM Simon in 1992. This technology would advance further and further over the next few years, eventually evolving into the smartphones we have today. Many people probably think that the first iPhone was the very first smartphone to feature a capacitive touchscreen, but it was actually the LG Prada. Although Apple most likely played a big role in popularizing the use of capacitive touch in smartphones. So that wraps up our list of smartphone tech origins, but obviously there are a ton more we could talk about. If you wanna read more about these features, check out the written article, which is linked down below and give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Subscribe to the channel, which is also down below if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. And as always, check us out on social media, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Google+, Plus, all that good stuff will be linked down below. And check out the website as well, androidauthority.com, because we are your source for all things Android.